Hello. Not a whole lot has happened to the physical car this week because I've been working on designing the front battery box. So we determined some time ago that we're only really going to be able to fit six of the batteries in the front out of the ten total that we have. So right now I've got this box which should fit in the engine bay. I'm working on figuring out where these mounts and such have to go. Uh, they're approximately there. Each battery is sandwiched by a couple of these cooling plates and they've got a block on the front to screw in fittings for passing water through. So the heat plate that's on there is this one. This is made of sandwiched aluminum plates where the middle plate has the actual cooling channels cut into it. However, since having the thick middle section made of aluminum is hideously expensive. I've got this version here which has a plastic plate in the middle along with much wider cooling channels. The middle plate being a quarter inch thick and the sides being a uh, 20 gauge I believe. So by sandwiching these around the batteries and then by running threaded rods through these tabs on the side that should sandwich everything together and make decent thermal contact between the batteries and the plates. I've also got a bar in there that helps distribute the load across the surface of the plate, and then the ends of the bar will get clamped down into the box, and then this will go up front. I've also had a few thermal simulations done. My brother has a copy of SolidWorks the requisite packages, so with this hole the water flows in and then it snakes around and you can see the cooler areas where it's got a cooling channel under it. Obviously there's pretty big hot spots here where it's 200 Fahrenheit and that's just plain too hot. So I'll have to do another revision where I basically narrow up the space between these channels, maybe add another zigzag in the middle just to try to keep that cool. Uh, these lines here are the edge of where the actual metal parts of the battery are, so all the heat is going in on the center part of this plate. That's pretty much all I've been doing this week. I'll have to keep doing it for a little while until I have the design done enough to actually start fabricating these. Hopefully I'll be able to get pretty much all these plates done with some sort of CNC setup, either laser or something else. The aluminum can probably be plasma cut like the other pieces.